Hey everyone, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, and today I'm gonna to show you a full stack of no-code tools that you can use to build a market-ready web app. With the right software, you can build a fully functional no-code product for your customers, and you can do it in a tenth of the time it would take to code it from scratch, in less than half the time it would take to build with Bubble. In this video, I'll show you some examples of no-code apps that you can use to build a database and a customer-facing front-end. I'll also show you a couple of automation platforms that can make your app perform any action you might be able to think of. If you'd like to learn more tips about workflow automation and no-code tools every single week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get into it. If you've ever explored software engineering and application development, you've probably heard of the term tech stack before. In software development, a tech stack refers to all of the coding languages, frameworks, and tools that engineers use to build a product. Even though we're going to be talking about no-code tools in this video, the concept is still really useful for understanding the different roles that each piece of software performs. First, you have the back end of the application. The back end of the app is where the data is stored and processed behind the scenes. It's where the app actually performs the key functions that are prompted by the user's commands. And those user's commands come from the front end. The front end is where the user interacts with the app. In most applications, the front end is usually accessible as a web page or an application on the desktop or mobile devices. Knowing where your no-code tool falls in your overall tech stack will make it much easier to look for alternatives and improvements over time as new tools come out. The no-code stack that we're going to use in this video is going to be Airtable in the back end, supported by automations in Zapier and in Make. And for a polished front end, we're going to be using an app called Softer. Now let's take a closer look at the entire tech stack. To build the backend database of your no-code product, we almost always recommend using an app called Airtable. If you're not familiar with Airtable, it's essentially a spreadsheet app on the surface, but when you take the time to learn and dig deeper with Airtable, you realize it can go much further than a simple spreadsheet. You can find several videos on this channel that demonstrate Airtable's capabilities, but I'll give you a quick idea of what it can do right now. Airtable includes built-in support for no-code automations, so you can automatically gather data from different sources or send out instant updates. There are a ton of automations supported right out of the box. It also works extremely well as a database to supplement apps like Zapier and Make. And with customizable filters and views, you can control exactly how your data is sorted based on your own configured settings. You can think of it as an air traffic controller to trigger all of your automations. For instance, you can create a view that shows all of the users who signed up for your product in the past year. As soon as the user's sign-up date is older than a year, they'll automatically be removed from that view. You won't need to do anything to update it. Moving data into a view is a great way to trigger an automation to run, whether that automation is built in Airtable or another app like Zapier. Features like linked tables also serve as a convenient lookup table when you're building automations. It also integrates perfectly with Softer, which is what we'll talk about in a minute. In short, Airtable is a highly sophisticated but very intuitive database app that makes for an ideal no-code backend. Next, let's move to the front end and take a closer look at Softer. Softer is a great tool for building a polished web app for your product on top of Airtable. Softer enables user signup, account creation, and payments right out of the box without a plugin. Payments are done with a native Stripe integration, so your product will have a reliable payment processor that your customers can trust. Softer uses a one-time code system to let users sign in, eliminating the need for them to remember another password and eliminating the need for you to securely process and store user passwords. Perhaps best of all, Softer connects directly with Airtable, making it easy to manage all of your product's data through Airtable's simple visual interface. And while we're on the subject of simple visual interfaces, all of this can be designed and implemented through a drag and drop portal, similar to a WYSIWYG editor you'd find in Webflow, Shopify, or Wix. Here, you can see the software app that we built for Debrief, an automated system that lets users upload any meeting recording to get an AI-generated summary and a full transcription. Once the user logs in, they can see all of their current recordings, upload a new one, view their billing info, and more. With Softer and Airtable, you can build a fully functional, highly polished web app like this in a matter of days or weeks. 
Of course, you may need a few extra tools to add the features or functions that you really want, and that's where Zapier or Make come in. These tools will facilitate the business logic that actually creates value for your product. In other words, they let you move data from where it is to where you want it to go and perform any action you want with it. For example, in our debrief app, we use Zapier to send the uploaded recording to Trint to transcribe it. Then Airtable sends the transcript to OpenAI to get a summary. Once the summary is complete, Zapier sends that back to Airtable. Finally, Airtable connects with Softer to give the right user access to their content. While Airtable has some decent support for built-in automations, providers like Zapier and Make have many more integrations and abilities that Airtable simply doesn't. Additionally, they offer extensive no-code logic to perform complex actions within your automations. You can add loops, if-then statements, routers, formatters, and more. And you can do all of them without writing code. Zapier, Make, and other automation providers like Workato are essentially supplements for your Airtable backend. Whenever you need to do something that Airtable can't do or can't do without writing code, you can turn to tools like these. You can get to know these tools in greater detail with the tutorials that we have on our channel. Once you've become familiar with them, you'll find that you and your team could build virtually any web app that you can come up with. However, I want to stress that the tools I've talked about in this video are not your only choices for building a no-code app. A key advantage of using a tech stack like this is modularity. Understanding how each tool fits into the bigger picture make it easy for you to swap out and adapt to new software in the future. You might want to switch out software for blaze.tech or switching out GPT-3 for another language learning model. By clearly defining your front end, your back end, and your supplemental automations, you can easily isolate the parts of your product that you want to update without having to change the rest. Whichever specific tools you use, a no-code tech stack is the fastest way to set things up. In entrepreneurship, speed is often more important than perfection, and with these no-code tools, you can move much faster than you would with traditional code, and even faster than building a bubble app. So start using Airtable, Softer, Zapier, and Make to begin building right now. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more no-code automation tips and entrepreneurship tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.